Hi star babies, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Gabriella. I make YouTube videos about astrology, self-care, basically everything that's going on in my life. I love fashion, I love style, I love self-expression, and I don't bring too much of that on my channel um, as far as like the fashion stuff goes, and so I thought, well, why don't we... Why don't we try it? So, little disclaimer, not telling you how to dress. Um, I'm not telling you that how you dress now is not good enough. I am not um, trying to exclude any style types or like identifications. Uh, anyway, this is all fun and games. If you don't agree, no big deal. And if you see any celebrities um, that you have knowledge that they're like, according to you, are a different rising sign, no need to freak out about it. Um, it's kind of difficult with celebrities to get their rising signs right because a lot of them have not admitted to us what their birth time is, but they are helping a lot in this video for examples. So just, uh, you know, take it lightheartedly and I hope you guys enjoy. Also, this video is definitely for your sun sign or even your moon sign, kind of like what you're drawn towards, but it's especially for rising signs. If you don't know what your rising sign is, uh, you need to know your birth time. And I'll link below the natal chart calculator that I like to use to, and send to people for them to do it quickly, and you'll find your rising sign. That's really about how you appear. It could even be like what your eyes look like, what your nose looks like, what your body tends to look like or where you gain weight. It's very specific about appearance and the face that you show the world. So that's why these are mostly for rising signs. So that'll be really helpful if you know yours. For Aries, I find that Aries is a great gender bending sign, um, so to speak. So women can go towards masculine styles, um, pantsuits or like even wearing, you know, borrowed from the boys style and men can do the same, men can go for more feminine styles, um, a little bit more ostentatious. Both of them are kind of a notice me sign. They're a fire sign. Um, I just think they look great in um, kind of bold clothing, but also no nonsense clothing. Aries are always on the go. They don't want fussy things. They don't look great in things that look fussy, like they took a lot to get on or they're going to take a lot to get off or they're not comfortable because you can just tell from an Aries rising that they're just on the go and they just need to be getting places and like living their life. So it almost seems unnatural. It's like seeing someone in a straight jacket. It's just not comfortable to look at. I think red is a great color for Aries. They absolutely kill it. They just come to life when they wear red most of the time. Any tone of red or even like a dark pink or fuchsia magenta. And a lot of Aries Rising have this wild red hair, which I can talk about hair in another video, but red is definitely an amazing, amazing color for Aries Rising. Hats and headbands, um, I think most of the signs that have like horns, like um, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, they look great with hats and headbands, and Aries also tend to have very like high, uh, prominent foreheads kind of like, you know, like the Ram. So that's kind of just what I think of. And I think that like calling attention to their very well-structured faces is a good thing. You know, they might have some, I think Barbara Streisand is an Aries Rising. Um, they might have some features that they've been told are not good. For example, a bigger nose as compared to other people or a wide face, wide cheekbones or you know, smaller upturned eyes or a big forehead, but honestly, when you own those features, it's the most gorgeous thing ever. There's this one actor from a show, I'm not sure what her rising sign is, but I would not be surprised if she was in Aries Rising. I'll insert a picture. I find her stunning. I think bold colors work best for Aries. I think color blocking is great. Um, anything with an athletic or an 80s vibe, um, not too sloppy or casual in that sense, but like those trousers that have the white stripes on the side or some kind of like, I don't know, you could look really bomb dressing up like an Adidas track jacket. Um, that would look so good. Go ahead and show off your shape and your body. Make sure you're comfortable to move and get around. Your clothes should really be about you being able to live your life in them because you guys have an agenda, you know, things to do every day and you can't let your clothes get in the way. So I'm referencing my phone because I made a little Pinterest board of clothing for Aries and this is a picture of an Aries rising Shakira and I think that this is not the best outfit that she could have chosen. I think that the skater skirt is a little bit 
childish looking for her. I think the colors, because they're kind of pastel, Easter-y looking colors, paired with a, with a ponytail that could be a little bit, I don't know. Ponytails are usually great for Aries because it's athletic and it's showing your face and your forehead, but it can also be kind of a little girlish look. And I think with like, you know, nude platform pumps, she's got a skater dress with a floral pattern. No colors are really doing her any favors and she's not really making a statement. She's not like going full force into a look, which I think Aries pulls that off is like, I threw myself into that look. I don't care what you think. That's how they live. This picture, she's got the thigh high boots. She's wearing red. She's showing off her body in very strategic ways. Um, and her hair is down and free to be wild. And she looks much more herself. She looks much more comfortable. You can just imagine her moving comfortably in this outfit. So that's an example of how that would work, you know, dressing in Aries rising differently. Next we have Taurus rising. Taurians just are very earth goddess to me. Um, they are, their bodies tend to be feminine, voluptuous. Um, men tend to be wider, broader in the chest. They can even have a fluffy kind of appearance, like even when they're, um, very strong. They, it's almost like there's a layer of kind of like fat over their muscle, which can look really, really sexy. Um, soft, luxurious fabrics are great for them. They just look so amazing draped in anything opulent and luxurious. They just, and they love it. I think of like Donatella Versace, that type of style, just very regal, very opulent. Um, very, very womanly. Mariah Carey is an excellent example of a Taurus rising woman. Just like, just hair, like golden honey tones, and she's not afraid of showing off her body. She's very, very womanly in the traditional sense. She's got big old boobs that she shows off, and she just has an aura of like, she's still earthy. So she's very womanly, but she's not like ethereal, like, um, like Tilda Swinton is like a very ethereal, regal person. She looks like she would be queen of like the heavens. And Mariah Carey looks like she's queen of like the sexy forest where people run around naked or something. So one example of dressing for a Taurus rising is Miley Cyrus. She's actually a Taurus rising. And I remember the one photo I saw of her, I mean, she's very, very beautiful, but there was one photo where I was just like, my jaw dropped. And it was several years ago and it was in this yellow dress. But look at what like an earthy goddess she looks like. She's got her hair in like this kind of braid that makes her look regal but not stuffy. And the dress is just beautifully draped. She actually has a very womanly body. She has had one for a very long time. Like when she developed it was just like bam. And I'm not even attracted to the color yellow per se, but when I saw that photo, like that light tone, I mean, I don't know, she just looked absolutely incredible. She had a nice tan, she was just killing it. As opposed to this photo where she's kind of giving me like queen of the underworld or queen of like storms or something, like she's giving me severity. And, she, and, and severity doesn't look great on Tauruses. You know, severe cuts, severe colors, just like severe stuff is not as becoming on them. Um, plus, Taurians are an earth sign. They're very much grounded. They're very much of the earth. So when you start dressing a Taurian like they're an alien um, and they're losing the sense of a connection with Mother Earth, as crazy as it sounds, it just kind of looks unnatural. As far as guys, what I love about Taurus men is they can look very elegant. They even look wealthy. You don't even know how to explain it, but they just look rich and they have this inner glow about them, but they also look rugged. So they're, they're not too aloof that they're not, you can't imagine them like gardening or I don't know, lifting a heavy tire and looking hot. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a construction worker meets a coffee shop hipster. I don't know, but Taurus men are very magical. I think they look very good in high quality clothing as everybody does but really with them high quality less of a casual sloppy look and more elevated style 
even David Beckham, when he's casual, which he is a lot, he's an athlete, there's something elevated about his style. He's never sloppy. Um, he's not really super bohemian looking. If Taurus Risings are bohemian in any way, it's like rich bohemian, like Gypsy King. I think wrap dresses look amazing on um, Taurus Risings, um, accentuating the boobies and the waist and the booty. Those are just very womanly, um, womanly outfits to wear. I think a lot of Torians are kind of insecure about their arms. They can kind of like get broad arms. So I think wrap dresses are a way to accentuate that you probably have a very muscular upper body, um, but not like let your arms flop around if you're insecure about that. Plus, Torians are all about the neck, so I think you guys look amazing in um, beautiful necklaces and especially, I don't know why, sheer scarves. Like wrapping your head like that 1950s look or like a long sheer scarf, I think you guys just look amazing. But for Gemini Rising, you guys can pull off some of the most quirky looks, but it's very Gemini Rising because Aquarians are quirky too, but kind of more in like an alien, punk alien way, and Gemini Risings are just like little pixies. Um, they are, they actually look incredible with short hair. Um, they look playful, they look busy, and they can handle a lot on the appearance. They can handle patterns and weird hair colors and weird makeup. Um, it just seems natural for them to be playing in every aspect of their life. They tend to have a lot of tattoos, piercings, fun hair. They really like love accessories. Uh, they might like a lot of rings or uh, tattoos on the arms or the hands because they're ruled by the hands. They might have really crazy amazing nails. They're basically like, um, Geminis remind me of preschool, and I'm, I'm saying this in the best way. Just like anything goes, the bright colors of preschool, the patterns, the things that preschoolers are attracted to, a Gemini would also be attracted to. So like a preschooler, for example, out of a lineup of all the, of the rising signs would probably say, that's the, the prettiest girl, or that's the coolest boy, that's someone I want to be friends with. They just they would align themselves with that look. For example, as opposed to a Virgo rising, a, a preschooler would probably think they were very boring. Uh, I know my style now, as a kid, I would have thought I was boring as hell, but Gemini risings are fun. Think about Amy Winehouse, covered in tattoos, she had her trademark huge hair. They also usually have kind of a bold, striking coloring, and if they don't naturally, they change it. So they'll tan, or they'll do their hair, or um, their makeup in a way that makes them able to handle a lot of color on their body. It becomes you to dress very playfully um, and a little bit youthfully, but don't go too far forward because, or don't go too far youthful because you can kind of look a little bit Lolita, especially if you still have kind of a curvaceous body. Um, you can still look a little bit porny, like the little girl, like with the I don't know, like coming home to the babysitter, like it, it's that you lose your tastefulness. Uh, Geminis are another sign where the gender bending stuff is just gorgeous. Gemini men are very dandy men. They're very, um, they love accessories. A Gemini rising man might own a monocle. He might have a bow tie. When I think of Gemini risings, I think of shift dresses. I think of Peter Pan collars. I think of bow ties. I think of Rosie the Riveter tying your hair up in a scarf. Um, and now here's an example of Kelly Osborne. She's the Gemini Rising that I chose. So this photo, she's very, very dark, first of all. She's got her amazing lavender hair, but it's not popping at all um, because she has no tan, which is fine, but look at the colors she's wearing. She's wearing like a very, very dark metallic dress. It's not cutting her off in the right places. Gemini's, honestly, your hemlines you should tend towards shorter hemlines rather than longer because you also tend to be very small or short people. So like midi and maxi dresses are not my favorite on you. Um, and then she has this kind of coat or cape thing going on. Um, and it's just, the colors are too neutral for her. I think she's not making enough of a statement and she doesn't look sparkly or happy. In th this photo, she is wearing the most, first of all, amazing pantsuit. She's giving you like gender bending, sh you know, shoulder pad realness. Those pants fit her very well. Look at the way she's like smiling and standing. She seems to be more herself. She's got her hair pulled back in a really retro style. Gemini Risings kill the, the pinup in the retro styles. And I think she just looks way more herself and she just looks so stunning. So that's Gemini Rising for you. Cancer Rising, I think of soft edges. I think of waves. I think of protection. I stay away from anything too harsh. 
anything too edgy. I think cancers especially because they can be on guard. They want to fight that openness that they can have and that warmth because people will be attracted towards cancer risings. They just want to tell cancer risings everything. They want them to like give me therapy. It's this whole thing. And cancer risings may try to combat that because some of them are pretty private. So they might be like, no, I want to look like an edgy badass so that people leave me alone, which is totally cool. That's your, that's your shell, that's your defense mechanism. But I'm talking about what looks best on you, okay? What's most becoming of you to the eye. Um, you need balance between masculine and feminine, but lean towards feminine because you're ruled by the moon and the moon is feminine energy. With that, I also think of moon tones. So like violet, pearls you look great in, opals um, as far as jewelry goes, silver, gray, white. I think Cancer Risings tend to look very wonderful in pastels or grayish colors, mermaidish colors. Uh, I don't think primary colors do much for them or anything um, too bold. Like The perfect outfit for a Cancer Rising would be like an elegant ski bunny, like apres ski, like you're in your little ski lodge sipping your hot chocolate and you just are wearing a luxurious, cas cozy cashmere sweater. It might even be one of those that you cross and then you tie at the waist. You're wearing like just, I don't know, something luxurious and you're just cozy and gorgeous um, and you're wearing everything that makes you feel cozy and at home. Cancers rule the home, so anything, honestly their outfits should almost look like they could go home and chill, you know, just they're bringing a little bit of homey coziness to the outside world. You can really also play up this moody, thoughtful look. Um, a lot of Cancer Risings have very big expressive eyes that just look moody and like they're thinking about something, like gazing off into the distance. So if you want, you can play that up and be that mysterious French girl at the cafe who no one knows what she's thinking. That's a thing you could do. And with that, I would incorporate a few dark stormy colors. But honestly, black is not my favorite on Cancer Risings. I love like grays on them or like stormy blues and navies, things like that. So if you want to look moody, maybe add a little navy eyeliner. I don't know. Makeup will be a different video. Their vibe is like moody mermaid. Um, also, Cancer Risings, men or women, you guys have awesome boobs. So they might be pecs, they might be big old boobs, or you might just love boobs and not have been blessed with them genetically, and so you got them enhanced because you probably like boobs a lot because that's just you guys. So play those up. It doesn't need to be... <clears throat> I think cancers look a little silly when they try to be too sexy or like body, but you know, especially sweaters, we all know a good sweater makes your boobs look real good, and you like even a turtleneck, <laughs> because you look like you're being modest, but you're dreamy and softer edges as opposed to like, you know, a deep sharp v-neck, um, shoulder pads that are very sharp, uh, you know, even just super so sharp contour, it's just not as becoming on a Cancer Rising. I read that Kanye West is a Cancer Rising and if that's true, I totally get it because think about how amazing he looks in all of his layers. He doesn't look sloppy, it looks natural to him. Rather than wearing a tight t-shirt and tight jeans or something, he looks so natural swaddled up in all of his Yeezy stuff. It's just, he looks really bomb. Also look at Robert Pattinson wearing blue. I mean, it's just dreamy. Like, he looks moody and gorgeous and so dreamy. I think cowl neck tops, nice deep v-necks, not something that would go like too narrow, sharp, but like a wider kind of v-neck, even like a boat neck top. You guys have beautiful chests. Um, cashmere. Now, the picture I chose, or the celebrity I chose for Cancer Rising is Angelina Jolie. So if you see in this outfit, she is, I mean, I chose older photos because she has her own sense of style. So her sense of style is actually not very Cancer Rising. But if you see, she's wearing a pantsuit, which first of all, I just think it's not fitting her properly. I think it's not doing her body any favors because her body is absolutely amazing. I think it's making her look top heavy. I think the fabric is, it just looks a little uncomfortable and stiff. Um, and I think the neckline is a little too severe for her. But if you look at this photo, look at that soft, round neckline. She looks like a mermaid. She's wearing those glistening silver tones. She looks like a moon goddess. And she's showing off her boobies and her, her body. And it looks much more natural to me and much more striking. Much more striking. Now we're on to Leo. Leo style, I think Leo Rising is, I think of Dolce & Gabbana. I think of Versace and I think of 
um, a really, really, really classy and just like badass sugar mama. Leo Risings can wear things that on anybody else would be tacky. Leopard print, uh, a lot of gold jewelry, a lot of costume jewelry, huge hats, huge sunglasses, ridiculous fake nails. They can rock a lot of things like that that a lot of people would just look too theatrical in. But Leos are all about, they are theatrical. They are the theater, so they can pull it off. They also are like the queens of the zodiac, so any kind of complex beading, uh, anything that almost resembles a crown, any heavy jewelry, anything flashy, anything calling attention to them, they're gonna love and they're gonna look very good in. Leo Risings tend to have a very athletic stomach, so you can show off that section. They also tend to have big butts, so that's an attention grabber for sure in today's generation, so go for it, show it off. JLo, come on. One of the body parts that Leo rules is the back, and me as a Leo, I love, love, love low back tops and low back detailing. I think it looks great. I think it's very, very sexy. I think the back is a highly underrated part of the body. So Leo Rising, really play up your back. Go for gold jewelry, warm tones in things that you wear. Think about how few times you've seen JLo wear any cool tones. You know what I mean? She's always wearing warm tones. Leo men just seem like natural kings. Um, think about Jonathan Rhys Myers in The Tudors. He is a Leo Rising and it just seemed so natural that he was playing a king. So believable because it wasn't like this act where he had to be like, I'm the king. It was just like he was like this sexy, rough king. Like he's just, it reminds me of, and I'm not sure what his rising sign is, but um, Chadwick Boseman from Black Panther has a natural kingly air about him. He also kind of looks like a cat-like person. He might be a Leo rising, but he also has giant eyes, so he might be a Pisces rising. Like, I really get that vibe. Um, but he has a kingly air, which is a very Leo rising air. You just, like, you're like, you're somebody. I don't know who you are, but you're somebody. Barack Obama. Think about that. Think about Chris Hemsworth. He got cast as Thor. Think about Jason Momoa playing Aquaman and playing Khal Drogo, getting cast in roles that are larger than life, kingly positions of power. It's just natural. So Leos don't really do very well in cutesy things. For example, like the Gemini stuff, skater skirts, Peter Pan collars, bow ties, quirky little glasses. It's not the best for them. Like, it's a little bit of a caricature. When I think of Leo rising, I think of wiggle dresses, like from the 50s, like leopard wiggle dresses. I think of that video, Why Don't You Love Me, with uh, that Beyonce video. Um, I think of tinted sunglasses, big sunglasses, anything that makes you look famous. Um, and so my example of a Leo is JLo. Look at this photo. She has really nothing that's calling attention to the look. She's like picked a very kind of non-remarkable shade of green for her. Um, her hair is not down in typical Leo fashion, which is fine because you also want to show off like her gorgeous face. Um, you know, she's picked a red lipstick. There's really nothing here, though, that's like an attention grabber. Her body could look better because she's just being too draped. It's too, like, genie-like. It's not like a queen. Then we have this photo where she's wearing gold. She's got an amazing tan. She's showing off her body in a very, very ostentatious way. She is wearing a nude lipstick, which is much more flattering on her. She's showing off her face. She's got gold jewelry. I mean, she just, she looks like a lioness goddess. Like, if you want to think of a god for Leo, I would think of Horus, the Egyptian god. He's, he's the sun god. I would think of Horus because just glowing, like that bright sun and like sun discs and chest plates they used to wear, all of that is just so Leo. And that's why you guys look so at home in gold. And really, you cannot really overdo it. So have fun with your style. We know you do. We know you like the attention. Now we're on to Virgo rising, which is my personal rising sign. And it took me a while to come to this conclusion. But Virgo, you are like the minimalist. Less is more. Um, and you can very easily look over adorned and overdone because you are, um, you, you're like the princess of the zodiac. So the queen is like, look at me, look at me, and I have all the wealth. The princess is like the much, much more, I don't know, she's, I mean, in traditional terms, she is the virgin. She's untouched, you would think, right? Um, 
and youthful, very, very youthful. And just, you don't really have to do much to look amazing. You don't have to like add a lot to look somehow stunning. Um, you look best with a clean look, a classic look, wholesome. It's very easy to shop for you because classic shapes, for example, I love a good button up shirt or like a simple necklace, stud earrings. Um, you know, I've realized that classic haircuts, well, first of all, my hair looks like crap today, but classic haircuts look best for me, classic makeup, um, just very like clean cut. Even though I'm not preppy, it's clean cut. Also, Virgos look great in denim. Add a little bit of denim so that you don't appear too stuffy because you can't do such severe professional looking looks as like um, Capricorn. There is, it's almost a mix of Capricorn and Gemini. So there's the seriousness and the elegance of Capricorn rising, but there's a little bit of playfulness and elfishness of the Gemini. Um, you kind of just have this open mischievous look or mischievous look in a very friendly way and so that's going to add playfulness to you know a traditional white shirt that might other otherwise to other people seem boring stuffy can't pull it off not not sexy you know those are like the classic pieces are your best friends actually my sun moon and rising is the same as one of my favorite french actresses audrey tattoo and she uh, she was in um, amelie and i think that when she is dressed Traditionally, she, first of all, the French, the French style is the best for Virgo Risings. You just you look amazing in that traditional French classic style. So Audrey Tattoo is very lucky that she is French and and grew up like that. But look at this photo; it looks almost uncomfortable the amount of leg that she's showing. And on somebody like Beyonce or somebody like J Lo or whatever, that would look a little more natural. But for her, it's just like it's a little uncomfortable to see that. She even looks uncomfortable in heels of that height and of that shape. Um, the lace, it's too much lace and black lace is just very lingerie and very sexy and it's not, doesn't look natural on her. And she's got the dark makeup, her pose, you can just see that this is not, to me, that this is not who she is. And then also you look at this one, more black lace. She's got so much going on with the skirt. The shoes are a little chunky for me. Nothing really is delicate about this look except her beautiful face and hair. And then you look at this, where the shoes are strappy, they add a little bit of interest, she's got a very classic clutch, and the dress is classic. The dress could have been worn by someone in 1949. The hair is beautiful and classic, the makeup is clean, her hair is swept off her face, there's nothing um, messy about her look. And this too, she's absolutely killing the white button down. It just looks so natural on her. So I think Virgo Risings are all about being that French girl next door. So a little bit of femininity, but maybe borrowing from your sexy boyfriend. Like th that French girl next door. It's not so, so girly like, you know, Taurus or even a Libra Rising. It's just a little bit earthy and playful and feminine. Um, I knew, I knew it when I was thinking about Virgo because I love Greek mythology. I was like... Demeter is definitely the goddess associated with Virgo, and I looked it up and it's true. Demeter is the Greek goddess of, like, kind of like an earth goddess of harvest and um, just everything to do with, like, plentiful bounty and things like that. And that's just what I think of Virgo, just womanly but in an earthy way. Um, keep it simple. If you try to be too sexy, it just seems abnormal. So find your own definition of sexy because chances are you're not even comfortable in a mini dress that's this short, you know? So like, find your own definition of sexy. For me, it's been the white shirts, it's been excellent fitting denim, it's been, you know, a killer pair of like loafers or very nice sneakers. Um, find your standard pieces, your, your traditional classic pieces. Libra Rising is the most classic example of style. Classic style, classic beauty, balanced. Um, nothing here should be too freaky. You tend to look very balanced. You have overall harmony and symmetry in your face and your body. I wouldn't go for a crazy ridiculous hairdo and then a very simple dress. You've got to balance it all over. Men and women that are Libra Rising look amazing in spring tones. Uh, my boyfriend's a Libra Rising and he looks so great in pink. Um, and yeah, like think of all of the spring 
think of Aphrodite actually the goddess think of like seashells and and the air and beautiful flowers and just like springtime the world coming to life all of that so I would dress more towards pastels for the most part and then you can include a, a couple dark tones but when I see Libras and Libra Risings in a ton of dark colors and like a bunch of leather trying to be very punky it just is like not it doesn't seem natural to me yeah you guys are very much the gods and goddesses of the zodiac um, I always think of Aphrodite there is an everlasting youth about Libra Risings um, where you guys will look a lot younger than you are for a long time um, almost like your gods and goddesses it's like you don't age Be sure not to overdo it with the trendy stuff because again you look best in classic styles I think of light touches of lace a little bit of feminine lace draping fabrics sheer fabrics even necklines um, symmetry in the silhouette so like a shirt like this with a very very aggressive line might not look great on the Libra Rising uh, it would be much more attractive to have like an off the shoulder that would like maybe a sweetheart neckline Ugh, that would be amazing on a Libra Rising think about Britney Spears think about when she wears soft sexy feminine stuff didn't she wear something super like goddess like when she did that thing with the snake I'm pretty sure she looked bomb and then sometimes she'll wear a lot of leather or like recently she's been lining her eyes with a lot of black eyeliner and doing like very edgy looks um, and you know it's not my favorite for her she looks more natural when she's like this kind of sexy Aphrodite goddess my example of her Libra rising is Zoe Kravitz so if you look at her in some of these photos she's just kind of like it's not balanced so you can hardly see her shorts she's wearing a very oversized top and very very large chunky shoes and then her legs are just bare so she's not balanced top to bottom and in the second photo the same she's super covered up everything is baggy um, you know it's just not it's not a well proportioned look and then if you look at this yeah she's got the baggy jacket but she's going to do a, a, a nice fitting dress and shoes that are not too chunky she's killing it um, and then she adds a little bit of edginess with the hair and in this other photo you can see there are a lot of asymmetrical lines there's this cutout that we have she's got asymmetrical hair swept to one side she also has red lips that are calling for the attention but also the bleach blonde hair is calling for the attention but also the dress so you don't really know where to focus it's not well balanced and then you look at this look and she's making a kind of a statement with the lips and the jewelry but she's keeping the neckline even look how incredible that straight neckline looks on her a classic black dress and then she's keeping the statements not too insane so it's all very balanced it's so much better so that's kind of how I would dress a Libra Rising is just symmetrical and uh, making statements in a way that you think about the whole look so don't just dress yourself and then be like oh I'm gonna wear purple eyeshadow today like you better have thought about the whole look before you do that because it's not gonna be maybe as uh, flattering as you had hoped Scorpio Scorpio Risings have a lot of intensity in the face so you can handle a lot of different makeup looks and and physical looks because you just have these faces about you that it's like striking like you have very remarkable faces very memorable like you would never really forget like if you already met a Scorpio rising you'd be like yeah I know who that is I remember that person um, the women facially can be kind of intimidating like think about Natalie Portman how like she looks so delicate and so sweet but there's something about her that like also says to me that she could stab me in my sleep you know same with Dita Von Teese. like very reserved there's this very like very reserved air about her but she also looks like she could just go nuts on you you know what I mean and it's that's why also people are so intrigued by Scorpio Rising is because they, they can sense that you're restraining something and they want to know what it is I think deep colors look amazing on Scorpio Risings but because of your watery energy you are a water sign you can still tend to wear sparkly things and shimmering and I think of you as like a siren not a mermaid a siren like a dark dark siren queen I would tend towards more feminine styles to balance your severity but not like sundresses and little frilly like 
off the shoulder frilly frou frou bohemian feminine not that like siren um you know old hollywood star i mean dita von Teese is just a great example she just kills that look um i love sharp shoulders on scorpio risings i love um body conscious styles i love more severe um flat laying materials rather than ruffly stuff um and fluffy things and a lot of buttons and fussy things I love statement jewelry. I love like a, like a serpent, even a bracelet or a statement choker. Um, things that are, you also can pull off things that are blatantly sexual, like those uh, those chokers with the ring that are used as a leash, or you know anything that's giving like kind of an innuendo. I think anything that looks like lingerie, you can pull off. Uh, Dina Montes is a great example. This picture, she's wearing spring tones. She has this peach dress that I think is personally doing nothing for her skin tone. And with the red lipstick, it just almost looks like the face shouldn't match the body. Um, you know, it's not doing a lot for her complexion, for her hair color, and how striking her features are. It's just more like, in the dress, I notice how pale she is. Not in a good way. Also, the shape of it, I don't love that it's kind of a flouncy dress. I prefer her in more bodycon styles. So if you'll, and, and in this blue one too, the color is great on her, but the, you know, it's a little bit too loose and um, you would not know what a killer body she has. This is much better. Look at the sharpness of the top of that dress. And then look at like, she looks like a black widow, like ready to just destroy your life. I love that. Also, don't be afraid of scaring people away because men that are men and women that are easily intimidated will already not be down for a Scorpio rising. So just be as scary and as like femme fatale, that's the word, as you want to be. Okay? Just and look at this even. Like she's giving me more professional, like more more feminine, but the color, first of all, the color is maybe the best color she's ever worn. And she's got the severity of the shoulders. It's gorgeous, so she's killing it. Sagittarius rising, you guys tend to have very thick legs. You guys are all about the, the quads, the thighs, the hamstrings, very remarkable legs. Cause you think about like a centaur, like it, you just always remind me of that. It's almost like sometimes the upper body of a Sagittarius almost looks like it doesn't match the bottom. Like think about Kim Kardashian. I mean, yes, she's had alterations done to her body, but even so, it's just kind of like, whoa, you're like so delicate and so, so like, even her bones just like delicate and then the bottom is like, bam! So that's kind of how Sagittarians are. Very bottom heavy, which is a good thing. And um, you kind of can also, if you're not super short and curvy like Kim Kardashian, you can kind of look like Amazon women. Like you can be very, very tall and you can intimidate a lot of people. Um, you look really bomb in sporty athletic wear because you just kind of look athletic. You already have like a go get em vibe about you. So you can really look very hot in athletic wear rather as opposed to some people can look really sloppy. Don't shy away from your butt and your legs because they're amazing and they're not like going anywhere. Even if you lose weight, you'll still have kind of thicker legs and a butt. So just embrace it. Um, random, because this is hair, but like long horse hair looks great on Sagittarius Rising. I think I look terrible with like long straight hair, but Sag Rising looks so good with long, 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 like silky hair like a horsewoman, okay? They, they look great. You can also handle a lot of adornment, a lot of glitz and glamour. Um, you can wear bold things because they don't overpower you. Rich colors look the best on you. I think bold colors, not half-assed pastels, like colors that you're like, well, I wanted to wear red, but I guess I'll just wear coral. You know, like, no, you're gonna like go full force and wear those crazy colors. Well, first of all, I'll show you. Kim Kardashian, this outfit, Pastel, doing nothing for me, doing nothing for her. I'm not into it, and neither this one. I think it's too too busy up here in the wrong way. Um, I know that they were probably trying to balance out her hips by adding something wide up here, but honestly, embrace the bottom heaviness. You don't need to balance. Um, and the color, again, is not doing anything for her. It's a pastel. It's kind of just like, oh, like there's like a pretty tan woman like in an Egyptian goddess dress. This, oh my God. Look at this. First of all, the hair is popping. The tan is popping against the red. She looks incredible in the red. She is just killing it. And she looks 
like a centaur. Like she's got the top, see what I mean? Like the top half of her body and the bottom half going on. And then she's showing a little bit of that athletic midriff. It looks so good. This is killing it. Look again how amazing she looks when the top half of the body is visually separated from the bottom. Um, and then even look how cute she looks in athletic wear. Of course, these are more neutral tones, but like, and look at her freaking long centaur hair. Okay, girl. But yeah, the athletic wear, she looks so good. So I think steering away from hippie flower child kind of stuff and going more towards, um, almost like you're a Spartan warrior, like a sexy Spartan warrior, that's Sagittarius. Sorry guys, my battery died, so I charged it and went to eat some lunch, but I'm back. We've got three more signs. So, Capricorn. Um, Capricorn coloring tends to be intense, so there's high contrast. So even if you're like a blonde Capricorn rising, you'll probably have some depth to the blonde or dark eyes or dark eyebrows or, um, a darker complexion, or if you're a very light-haired Capricorn, you might have really intense blue eyes. There's just like a high contrast kind of nature to your coloring. So that actually allows you to wear kind of more intense clothing. You kind of look, your bone structure can be severe, I guess one could say, so I wouldn't dress you in super frilly, um, I don't know, princessy clothing, even young, you can look really good in kind of more professional or just uh, elevated style. Hi, little baby. Want some in now? This is Parker. I'm doggy sitting him today. Yeah, he can lay. That's a good boy. He's gonna hang out with me, I think. For Capricorns, I think of cozy, earthy textures. Again, you're an earth sign. Um, neutral colors, I think, look best on Capricorns. And then, of course, you know, black would be considered a neutral, even navy. You can, you can go for dark colors, but usually neutral, more neutral colors. Not too much adornment or too much fuss. I don't think ruffles look great on Capricorn Risings. I don't think super, super girly silhouettes are the, the way to go for you guys. I also don't really like um, too baggy of clothing <laughs> on Capricorn Rising. I think going for more structured shapes, even with your workout clothes, just a little bit more shape and a little bit closer to the body, or if you're going to wear layers, thinner, lighter layers that you can really layer up without looking super boxy, I think that's more flattering. I do think... Let me say that super bohemian is different than when I say earthy and natural. So super bohemian being like big moo-moos and Birkenstocks, which I love, but they might not be great on Capricorns. Um, and then like, you know, like ponchos and a bunch of jewelry, that's different to me than being earthy. Earthy I would think of like, um, like a really good pair of jeans. You could definitely wear a button down, maybe like a Baker Boy cap, um, keep it simple with the jewelry, maybe a nice like band on your finger, um, and just like maybe some awesome like white leather sneakers, um, rather than like gypsy woman style. When I think of Capricorns, I think of you guys thriving in classy riding boots, uh, really elegant shoes, especially for men, really, really nice shoes, really nice accessories. Um, little details matter, especially because to Capricorns they do matter, so the details matter. Belts, um, tie clips, cashmere sweaters, thick headbands, tailored coats. Um, yeah, you guys look really good in coats, honestly. You make coats look like, like a gown. I think um, for the most part you look better in cream than in white. Let me take a look at my Capricorn. So the Capricorn Rising that I chose is Giselle Bündchen and if you look in this picture there's too much adornment. It's giving me gypsy mermaid. I'm not living for it. She's got like really big earrings on. Obviously, Giselle Bündchen is a supermodel, so I'm not trying to say she does not look absolutely beautiful, but what I'm saying is, with this whole video, is that the best looks are different than this. So, I don't love all of the adornment. Look at the details, how, like, this strap is made up of, like, 50 different little straps, and the netting and the beading, it's just, like, a lot to handle. Plus, I don't love the color on her, because it's not red, but it's not orange. 
like doesn't know what it is. And Capricorns are never, they're one or the other. They're not like uh, in between. And this is just too bohemian for her. The shape is not flattering. Um, you know, the gladiator sandals look too fussy for her. And it's also making her look a little bit on the bottom, super masculine. And then with all of the lace, it's just kind of confusing rather than with this dress she looks at home she's giving you just like gorgeous first of all the hair is up and back which I love um, and I love that she's showing off her body in a very tasteful way in a very unique way it's more of a and if you see the front of the dress it's actually really high cut so I like that she's not traditionally sexy which is usually Capricorn you know not not body. Um, I love this look on her. I love that it's a neutral tone. I also love this look, the sweater. I think this was for Ralph Lauren. But the coat, see what I mean? It just looks so good. I love that sweater on her. Her hair is just like being lit up by these colors, the cream sweater and the navy. She looks golden and glowing. That's what I love on Capricorns is, I don't know, just more, you don't have to scream for attention with your clothing. So I love that. Aquarians are very, very magical. I think of them almost of like, they're like very Merlin-esque to me, like wizard. Um, shimmery, moon-like tones work best in my opinion. Um, stay away from too much brown, too much earthiness. Um, big baggy hippie stuff. You may be drawn towards airy materials and the larger and kind of more flowy things, but go away from the hippie stuff and maybe more towards ethereal angelic type of clothing. Lightweight fabrics, you like to be floaty and go everywhere so dress accordingly. I think you guys can pull off some pretty busy patterns um, and color schemes. You're very quirky people so you usually will have a very specific sense of style whether it's a style that has to do with the counterculture like I remember actually Christina Aguilera is an Aquarius Rising and she was really into that pin-up stuff for a long time and then she was into the futuristic thing. The thing is don't get caught up in being, you want to be different so you'll most likely be gravitating towards whatever counterculture or like anti-trend styles are happening but really you're kind of just falling into a trap of being like everybody else. So like the anti-Instagram girls are like the art hoes, like the Glossier you know, blunt bangs and like very unflattering thrifted outfits. But think about how many girls there are like that. Like they think that they're being different, but by being anti-trend, I mean, a lot of people don't like trends. And so by being anti-trend, you're kind of going with another trend of being anti-trend. Like the trend of being anti-trend. I don't know. Anyway, so just listen to your heart because you guys are so artistic. You usually have an inner style that's just there. So just do you. You probably won't listen to me anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, Aquarians look amazing in white. I love them in white. They look ethereal and angelic. Think of an edgy angel or an alien angel. Yeah, alien angel. Like, look at this picture of Christina. First of all, this era, I can't blame her because everybody, you know, like the stripey highlights and stuff and the eyebrows, that was cool, and the piercings. But, like, it just kind of downplaying her beauty and the... She's following the trend of the dark eyeshadow, and it just happens to not be flattering on her. It's just the hair is wearing her. The makeup is wearing her. It's just very um, overwhelming. Same thing in this photo. She can't, she can't decide if she wants the shoes to have attention, the dress, the hair, the, the makeup. It just looks slightly messy, um, which Aquarians can tend toward. Rather than this look, she's doing something really different. Uh, that that pinup burlesque kind of style it wasn't really trendy at the time when this movie came out. But look how amazing she looks. But she still looks clean cut. She still looks like she's decided she's going with that look. It's not always the best thing to be messy. Take a look at this as well. Look at the shimmering fabric. Look at her makeup. Look at her hair is like romantically swept back. She has this nice like fur thing going on, romantic moon-like colors. She just looks very, very feminine, but, and, and she's doing kind of like a messy thing with her hair, but she doesn't look messy. So go towards more balance and less towards 
like just looking messy like I think Aquarian rising and Pisces rising can be the same way and that they kind of can like like to be messy to look cool but it's not they don't pull it off as well as Pisces rising I have this look which is working for her because even though it's supposed to be like kind of like a trailer trash look I remember this video this was the your body video I, it was like that video was the moment where I was just like like my jaw was dropping every look because first of all the whole video is like in a pinkish hue it looks like there's like moonlight it's or, or some kind of I don't know dreamy it's very dreamy the purple hair looks so good on her she's wearing like very non-traditional clothing like she's got a bra popping out of her tank top and her bra straps are showing but it's intentional and it's um yeah it's intentional she threw every piece together so pay a little more attention to details when you are going to do your quirky looks rather than just being messy and doing like a sort of how Kesha was when she first started. Express yourself but know that you've got an amazing sense of style so don't second guess it or try to be somebody else. Just do you. Have that vision in mind. It might even help you to make a mood board because you're very visual artistic people and then just go for it. Last but not least, Pisces. Pisces are sparkly mermaids. Bold colors can make you look like you're in drag um, if they're very severe. I think I appreciate that you guys are so playful with your style. I think that you can really rock the hippie ethereal um, bohemian vibe with the drapey fabrics. You can wear a lot of world patterns. Pisces Rising actually reminds me a lot of what's her character? The one in Girls played by Jemima Kirk with the long blonde hair. She looks very Pisces rising to me. Overly structured things, overly professional looking things, really tight blazers, uncomfortable angles. You look not at home because we all know you come across as a very go with the flow person, kind of edgy and fun and it just seems like not something you would naturally wear. For me, nothing too dark. Keep your layers light. Um, not big boy masculine shapes. So you can do the tomboy thing very well, but don't actually go for huge oversized shapes. It's not not great. You look great in any ocean tones. Think of if you can find that color by the sea, you're probably going to look great in it. You guys can actually slay long dresses, um, Greek goddess type silhouettes, long skirts, um, you know, open tops, very airy, like, you know, just just mermaidish things, you know what I mean? You guys also look so adorable when you wear artsy things. It seems like Pisces women, for some reason, Pisces Rising especially, look so good with glasses, like statement glasses, oh my god, and like beanies and hats, and you can actually pull off the hipster look and actually look really, really cute and striking. Um, they just look so... You just look so cute when you tend your style towards a more artistic vibe. It's so cute. Um, you can actually wear youthful type of clothing way past the age that you should. Um, you can really, really just pull off playful clothing for a very, very long time. I think you look amazing in braids, like fishtail braids. Just think of like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like a mermaid's tail or a fish's tail. I think you look so great in, in hairdos like that. And you look amazing in metallics. Um, any kind of fish scale tone you look so good in. You can also handle shapeless silhouettes for the most part. Um, really oversized tops, not like boxy though, not structured that's going to make your body look like it's a different body, but things that just hang over your body like paper bag dresses and huge overalls and big oversized slouchy sweaters and big t-shirts. Um, even if you're more of a fancy, elevated business style, have something that makes you look a little more undone, more like you were standing by the ocean and you got a little windswept, something like that. Let's take a look at Demi Moore. So in this outfit, she looks... I mean, her outfit is very, like, gamine-inspired. Like, it's very kind of Gemini-ish. First of all, her, her shoes look unnatural on her athletic legs. They seem to not fit her feet, and it just seems like unnatural for her and uncomfortable to be wearing those. Um, and 
her hair is kind of blending in with this dress. You can't see how lovely it is. And the dress with the pussy bow, that's what it's called, it's just, it's um, too fussy for her and too Upper East Side. This look, she just looks too stuffy. Um, it just looks kind of unnatural. She looks not kind, you know what I mean? She, she just looks very stuffy, it's too severe. This look, she literally looks 100% at home. She looks like a mermaid, Aphrodite, Grecian goddess. You can admire how incredible her hair is. Also, for her age, her hair is very long. Like, not a lot of not a lot of women her age have hair that long, and she seems to just pull it off because Pisces, man, they're mermaids, I swear. And the color, and it, she just looks absolutely stunning. Look how adorable she looks here. She's killing these overalls in Converse, and her glasses, like, it doesn't look costumey on her, it looks natural, she just looks adorable. Even here she's wearing a more professional, like traditionally age appropriate look, but the, that gold scarf in her hair is adding that windswept look, that's exactly what I meant. Um, look at this one on the right, she's so cute in her overalls, look at those metallic shoes, yes Pisces, and as I said, glasses, she's killing it. Even this, she's got the braid going on, a big slouchy sweater, a beanie, like she's just really killing this artistic look. And here, look at this, she's at an event, she looks very, very polished, she's wearing a beautiful blue gown, and her makeup's done, and she's got beautiful earrings, but the hair is a little messy, and it's very mermaid inspired. Demi Moore is a freaking mermaid, I swear. So, anyway, um, yeah, just add a little ocean windswept touch to anything you're doing, a little artistic touch, and you are golden. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much, thank you for watching. I also just wanted to remind you, follow me on social media. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.